Evening, we've arrived, and as you can see, it's empty. Well, there's a few of us here, so we're just getting set up, and uh, Cubby's there, nailing the ground. Volker's in there, setting his van up. Volker's drove all the way from Germany for this. 1,100 kilometres he's come. And I've come five miles. Mark's come <laughs> three <laughs> miles. <laughs> three miles. He's even egging that. Five miles, my ass. Three miles. Rio's done nothing, just nothing, <laughs> nothing. So anyway, we're going to get set up and we're going to have a couple of cans, a few cans there. A couple of cans and uh, while we get set up, let's have a look in Volker's van anyway. So this is a before, so he's got his floor done, he's brought his van in kit form and he's going to put it together <laughs> to sleep in tonight. So on the wall there's a few pictures there and hopefully over the weekend we might see it transform. <laughs> this is so Picture of Charlie Boy up there as well. Uh, Mind you, don't fall out of there without me catching it on video. <laughs> £250. This is so I don't fall over the pieces. This is just a makeshift holder. Yeah. But it does good job. Cool. I like all this. Did you buy this? Yes. This is a, a company in Germany about 30 kilometers away from me. Yeah. And this guy designed them, manufactures them. And by now, I was one of the first customers. And he now sells them worldwide. That's a good idea. He's a handyman. Does that come with the storage boxes as well? No, the storage boxes uh, are separate. But you can buy those in Europe yeah, anywhere. The they, they just size. they just look like they're made to fit, don't they? Uh, the, the the lids are made to fit. Yeah. But they're sixty by forty, and uh, the boxes are all they interlock. That is they're that is C really. They're CNC machined. That is really good. Let me zoom out. Still need to be a bit further away, but you get the idea. That is that is well made, isn't it? Yes. They're not cheap, but. Uh, Nothing is. It's good. If you if you uh, stack them up, if you stack three boxes up and put lids on top, and uh, you put two three box sets next to each other with a gap in between, you can yeah. put two lids on top. Like for the middle one, you don't need any uh, any supports. Yeah. And uh, then you have a workbench. The yeah. holes are actually made for handymen. They're twenty millimeter holes, twenty centimeters apart. For pegs. For pegs. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So I've used this to uh, I've used these uh, to do all the um, uh, all the battens for the floor. Cool. So what's the company called? Aumo. Ovomo. Ovomo. Yes. Ah, it's German. Yeah. So you you pronounce the W or V? Ovomo. Ovomo. Yeah. Yes. Cool. I like it. Yeah, and I made this I made these lists because if you have thirteen identical Euro boxes. Yeah. Um, it's like playing Tetris, <laughs> yeah, every time. Yeah. And so you don't find stuff, and so I labeled all the boxes and That's cool. know where to put them. That is cool. So when I set this up. And you, want, you want little labels for the top now to tell you what the content is. <laughs> well, I don't need that because once I set them up uh, the way they are there, then I can see the labels. Oh, cool, yeah. Yeah. That's brilliant, that. So. I take it this is the uh, John. That's the, that's the, co that's the cooler. All oh, right. And the drawn is here. Cool. Yeah. We're so using Canadian terms there. Canadian terms? Why? John. The John. The toilet. The, the John. Uh, yeah, well, uh, it's actually, um, it's called, in Germany they call it locus. Locus. Yes, that's like the slang word for, for John. Yeah. Well, it, John is not a slang word in itself, but this is what the thing looks like. And uh, oh, cool! I've got a little. Um, little support. It's empty right yeah. now. You know, that it's is just, it just got a little coco. Um, that is good. Ground cocoa and coconut stuff in there. Um, that keeps the scent down. Composting. Yes. That is a good idea. I've never seen that before. And it's in a euro box. Yeah. Oh, and this this adapter here, since I can't put a lid over the wheel well in the back here. Oh, uh, is this the contraption you've made? Yes, this this is this, this the thing I I made. Cool. With a little folding leg. Ah. 
and that will hold much weight. It's it's okay. That will hold me. Built for the chunky man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No, that's good. That's good. I like it. I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna leave you to later, yeah. and I'll come back and have a look at it when it's finished. Absolutely. All right, mate. I'm not really doing a lot. I'm just walking around talking to everybody. That's the most work you'll see Mark do. I've just said that as well. Yeah, he's doing well see, didn't bend over anything there. No effort involved whatsoever. Go on, Cubby. You show us how to do it. Hey, hey, listen, I'll put it up on video. <laughs> listen, somebody's got to document the event. I've just been watching. Come on, Royo, get involved. Learn life skills. You might live in a tent one year. We might all live in a tent one year. Why is your wife walking up with extension lids and she's got the van? Well, I don't want to pack the van down there. Oh. Because I want to lift up. <laughs> Where's your van? Where's the 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 van? Ladder to be fitted over the weekend at some point. Um, the box that come in, we'll use that to start our fires. Free shit, if anybody wants it. Riley's toys and bits and bobs, but anyway, we're going to get set up. I've just realised I forgot the bloody frame. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. I've achieved loads. I've got my flagpole up. <laughs> In that time, Volker has apparently transformed his van, so we're going for a look. I'm saying it right, aren't I, Volker? Yes, that's right. <laughs> wow, them boxes are really good, aren't they? Yeah, some of them shut in the front. Yeah. So, we got uh, groceries, we got cooking stuff, we got water, we got more cooking stuff that I can transfer in here. Cool. Got the little gas hob. A water tank, home. eco flow, eco flow, fridge. and uh, this thing is the cooler cool. is running. Is that German as well, Engel? Yes, that's yeah. the most common, most common one. See, we we obviously see the mainstream ones over here, but there's there's so many variants, isn't there? Out yeah, there. it's also the uh, uh, you know the uh, the type of insulation everybody uses. Oh, I right. Was I was trying to get the Kingspan insulation for the floor. Yeah. Couldn't get it. Yeah. In Germany, nobody would import it. Not even Kingspan would import it for me. Probably too much tax. <laughs> and uh, so what I ended up doing is putting the battens in and uh, putting all the stuff in between. You know, that is, and that's this stuff yeah. here. 19 oh, millimeter right. Aeroflex. Yeah, that's good. And uh, I've got my wife's cousin actually works at a factory that uh, builds heating ducts and cooling yeah. ducts and they use this, this, this stuff for insulation and they, they always have scraps left yeah. over and when they say scraps it's this big yeah <laughs> and so the guy he filled up the crafter with with this yeah. stuff and so i can do three four five vans with this it's good yeah. it's good how do you fare with condensation how have you, have you have well any... right now um it's just me myself in here and uh if i have the fan running no problem and uh, the window cracked open a bit so the, the air can get in and move out yeah then uh things are fine oh and uh this is this is just a temporary solution how have you dealt with that what are you gonna what's your plans with that with what mine didn't have that in that's, oh these are the interior part, yeah it's part of the alarm system part isn't of it? the alarm system and it doesn't work oh that's a Since bonus this thing had water damage <laughs> This, these things don't work. The don't, rest fix of it it. Works. don't fix it. Don't fix it. And I even had uh, fun on the boat with this. Yeah. You know, when I when I parked this thing uh, on, oh, the, on, said, on yeah, the deck, went, went and, off. and the lorry went past. Yeah. Yeah. They don't yeah. like it, do they? The alarm well, went that's, off. That's brilliant. That's really good. I like I like this stuff. Because if you wanted to, you could still take it all out and have your van. Y yeah. So if you don't mind me asking, how much have you spent on? The lids, the lids are 60 euros each, which right. makes about 50 pounds. Right. 
50 pounds each. And mm. I bought 12 or 13 of those lids. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And these bins were, I think, 11 euros each. These ones were 20 euros each. They're good. I like them. They're a good idea. Yeah, they're just not as sturdy because, you know, yeah. of course, they have a... Uh, you, you, you're you know, weaker in the front, so you'd have to turn that in against something else if you had it on the floor. Yeah. Right. So... Uh, it's brilliant. I like it. But you need to label them because otherwise you won't find... What do these do then? Well, these are drilled. You see here? Yeah. They're, they're drilled at this, this spot here. And there are little detents that fit in here. All right, yeah. Little pipes, red that, pipes with a lip on them. Is that just to keep and, them? Uh, no, so you can carry, actually carry three of them at the, at the same time. Right. The guy made it so you can carry three of those. And uh, when you put these in here, yeah. the other one fits in here. And I've got a hole in the back. So when I get them all laid out, so I put them down and they're locked. Yeah. And then I just put the... Uh, so like a transit rail, transit bar. Yeah. Cool. I like and I needed it. to put them somewhere and I had no other idea of where to put them. Yeah. So I put more riv nuts in here. Cool. Yeah, I put riv nuts in there for the table and the chairs. I yeah. put riv nuts in here for this thing. And that's, uh, that's good. I like I, I like that idea because it's lightweight as well, isn't it? Yeah, this thing doesn't doesn't weigh anything. Yeah. So cool. yeah, but this is a temporary setup, but I wanted to use the van. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Everybody like has this thing sitting in the yard and spends months and months and months yeah. building it and I can now actually use it. I have a rust yeah. problem here. Yeah, it's common, isn't it? So I left this open. Yeah, was that panelled? And I put I put some uh, um, rust... Eater, uh, like eater. crust, yeah. Yeah, the stuff that turns black. Yeah. And uh, I just dump stuff in there every week. Cool. I put in more stuff until there's no more stuff to put in. It doesn't leak on the outside, so yeah. you know apparently it hasn't rusted through. And then I'm just going to paint it, put the insulation cool. over top. I'm not going to bother with it. It's probably from the panels rubbing. Yeah. Well, they had tools in here. Yeah. This was a tool van. They, um, you know, you can see here still with all the stuff that's glued yeah. on here. Yeah. There were um, these uh, tie-down rails were mounted everywhere. Cool. And they didn't want to come off because they glued them <laughs> yeah. and they riveted them with uh, with stainless steel rivets. So they were so secure. You couldn't, you couldn't drill them. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I just just took sheer force to take them off. Yeah. I like that detail in the corner for you for tidying the cable away as well. Mine hasn't got that. Mine never had that. Oh, this. this yeah, thing it, it it has that stuff. Yeah. But that runs down this side. Of course. Yeah. No, no, it doesn't. It runs across the door on. It runs on across mine, the door yeah. on yours. Oh, so if okay. you look in my van, mine's covered with flowers up here. Yeah, yeah. But obviously they keep the same format for the wire and loom. Yes. But above the door, it's much chunkier. Yeah. But it didn't have that detail, so it just shows you that yeah. there's, there's a, quite a lot of variance with I, the vans. I, I, I don't so. know if I'm going to keep this stuff. Yeah, well, um, I, I'm, I, I think this is too big. You yeah. know, there's just like small wires in here, and I'm just mm. going to take like wire loom, the, the black stuff, yeah. the, the slotted black stuff. And just run it across there and put yeah. it on with some wire ties and I'm done. Mine's in some conduit, YT2. We can peel the lid off. Yeah. And I run I run stuff in there Talking as well. Talking about conduit, when I built the floor, right, yeah. I put conduit all the way across yeah. there and in the back. So in case I run another wire. Yeah, good idea. I have... I have so I, I did that as well. Yeah. But up... Um, where that cable is, I change that out, and where my lockers are, I can always access my cables. Yes. Because I'm an electrician, I like to be able to access my cables and put more in and take them out if I need to. Yeah, well, That's the solar cool. panels are at home already. Yeah. I've got three, I measured it out, they fit exactly in between the two vents. Yeah. And I've got the C rails in here. Yeah. So um, all I have to do is like uh, um, make a. Uh, uh, Aluminum 30 by 30. Um, there's aluminum. You can get yeah. the stuff here. Profile. Too. Profile. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to put that all across here and then just mount them on top. Yeah. And so uh, that's that's going to be it. Cool. Well, I like it. Yeah. I like it. You've made a good job. And, and it's, it's nice to see you using it as well. <laughs> and this I had cleaned professionally because, uh, you know, the oh. way this thing looked. Yeah. When, when I got this from the construction guys, <laughs> there was like uh, eight years of fossilized Coca-Cola in, yeah. the, in the dash. 
with grime and with cement and yeah. with, with all sort of stuff. It sounds just like and mine. The seats look horrible. Yeah, I mean cool. they're still worn. The one's got a hole there, yeah. and the armrests and whatnot. The armrests actually, um, I just bought a new armrest inside. Yeah. It cost uh, about f 50 euros or something. Yeah. And uh, the, the back plug was missing, the black oh, right. plug. Yeah. And then I phoned a Volkswagen and I said, I need one of those black plugs. And they said, uh, yeah, you can have one if you buy an armrest. <laughs> so I went to our friendly Mercedes dealer yeah, yeah. and got a part number. Yeah. And uh, they sell them. Oh, did it direct? Two, two euros. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you've got to be careful. There's some mean people out there. Well, there you go. That's Volker's van. It's lovely. He's made a really long journey. How many miles was it? 11 uh, kilometers, sorry? 1100 kilometers. Each way? Or round uh, trip? Yes. 1100 kilometers. So 2200 in total. Here's to a good weekend then. Make sure it's worth it. But it was it was good to do the turn because I wouldn't have made it up those well, the last ten kilometers. Mine's been playing up again. <laughs> Mine has been playing up again and yes. um I don't know what's going on there. I need to do a bit more investigation work, but really glad you made it. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> I'm really happy to be here. Thanks, Thanks for six six. Yeah. and a bottle opener. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is perfect, isn't it? What's it? Scoop, Scotty, Scotty. Yeah. I keep trying. I try, keep yeah. trying to put an accent yeah. on it. <laughs> that is cool. That also engineered by some guy in Germany and. Uh, Vorsprung Dirk Technik. <laughs> yeah, go on. It'll fit in there. <laughs> There you go. Right beside Cruz and Urban Van Life. You're officially a fan. <laughs> so we're all set up. Everybody, well, not everybody's here. The people that are coming for tonight are here. There's Rio, there's Mark and Sam. We've got a few others that we know from the village. They're here. They're going to come down on Friday night, uh, Saturday night, I believe. I think Kev's going to bring his guitar, so we might get a few tunes out of Kev. But we're here. Looking forward to meeting everybody tomorrow. So. Any questions, just drop us a line. I've got all the tickets now, so you don't need to check in down there. Come and see me, and then we'll get sorted. All right? Yay! <laughs> oh, there's another one. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> Piss off. Yeah, they're not too smart. <laughs> Can you hear the bells? Ten bells and counting, we're here. The weather is cracking. So, looking forward to you all arriving. See you soon. We're starting to flood in now, thick and fast. Come on, come on. <laughs> Hello, fella. How are you? Oh, good, mate. Good, good, good. Three is eh? It's on tour.
How did you sleep? Oh, it's lovely. This is our little hideaway. I didn't want to share it with people, but... <laughs> so, 99% of everybody's here. <laughs> There's one guy arriving today, but I um, need to go and get showered and cleaned up. But, as you can see, the weather, fantastic. That's where we're all at, up that end. And we'll have a walk through later. Show you everybody that's here. So these are the facilities, that's the ladies there. Um, toilets and showers. Little place to wash up your pots and pans. And here's the blokes. Basic toilet, showers, but everything you need. These are facilities, a couple of stalls here. Sinks, and just through here, we have a shower, dressing area. And your own private bathroom, if you need it. You just pull my curtain across and uh, crack on. Shower's brilliant, really hot. Ignore the meter, that doesn't work. That's from a, a time long gone by. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, like I said, basic, but meets all your needs. If you're looking for us, we're down in the beer garden. We might have been here a little bit too long. But anyway, it's been it's been good crack. Cheers. <laughs> you you've been hiding in the shadows way too long. You always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong. Yeah, you better step into the light, just give it a try Think that it's time you let that spark out You've been hiding in the shadows way too long Cause you're a work of art
about nine o'clock in the morning and some people are leaving. Give them a wave off. <laughs> Oh, spot on, Murray. Thanks, sharp, thanks for coming. No bother, Did you enjoy it? Good. We'll be back. We'll, keep, we'll tell you what next thing's on. <laughs> See you later. So that's Isaac's mum and dad away. This is her. They enjoyed it. Julie was in a tent all weekend. So she's packed up, ready to go. Obviously, people have got work commitments and that this weekend. Uh, this week coming. So oh, we'll see folk drifting away this morning, nice and steadily. We're staying for Sunday lunch because it's amazing here. And uh, we'll just we'll just take it easy. I'm knackered. <laughs> I've enjoyed myself far too much. There's Paul and Donna's van, their set up. Mark and Lisa are still in bed, I think. Maybe up, windows open. I'm doing Barbara's. Here's Big Rod. Packing up. And Susan. Morning. That's Sam's bus. It's absolutely lovely. Love it. It's his new bus. He's dead happy with it. Camper Van Yam. Morning. Let's get a video of everybody before they leave. Ah, right. <laughs> Paul's rig, it's his first time the camp was on meet up. Uh, everything's over there. Morning you lot. Morning. Any any thick heads? Alright. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Far from alright. <laughs> I lost him there. Hello, Paul. <laughs> Lee and Kerry's van. Zoom up a little bit. Here's our Tom. I thought one of you had left your bike running last night. <laughs> Put it this way, you took you took no rocking anywhere. You just walked up here and I tell you were asleep within five minutes. Did you have a good night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, hello. All right, Mara. I sleep well. Yeah. It was still sound all night when I come past from the shower. Oh, fuck that. Fucked. Oh, I like that little kettle. Um, I like that. I can't remember what it's called, but I bought the frying pan mm -hmm. as well. It's got like a frying pan. That's the extra long crafter. Eh? Uh, Sprinter. Look there, there's like an extra 18 inch of foot on the back of that. <laughs> See you later, Paul. Next time. Bye. I'll feed us in. <laughs> Only Walter and Darlene left. Um, that's me. All I've got to say now is thank you to everybody that turned up. Everybody that made this weekend a success. Lots of new faces. Um, really enjoyed it. Really needed it. Might look knackered, but I feel so refreshed. It's uh, It's been a, a shot in the arm, just what we needed. So I've been up here for the last four days. It's been fantastic. Anyway, if you're ever up in Cumbria, we're looking for a lovely little campsite, come to the Wee Chief, very reasonable rates, excellent food, really friendly people. Anyway, thanks very much everybody, love this weekend. Thank you for your continued support. If you like what we're doing, consider subscribing, liking and sharing with your friends. Also you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care.